When starting a new project, you can choose to connect to a database and reverse engineer the schema. In the connection dialog, you have to choose an alias for your connection and the database you are connecting to. When choosing the database, Divishimal will automatically download the driver from the Divishima server. Then you can choose which driver to use and the connection method. For example, for SQL Server, there are available two drivers, the native driver and the GTDS driver. For each of them, there are few authentication methods, including Windows authentication and SQL Server authentication. If you connect to a cloud database like Amazon, Azure or Google, you can choose to edit the GDBC URL and copy it from the cloud console. Otherwise, you have to specify if the database is running locally or on a remote host. If you connect to a remote host, you should specify the host name where the database is running. To learn more about what a host and port are, hover the labels with a mouse. Then you can press ping to check the connectivity. Please notice, some databases may require custom settings to be able to connect. Read about them by pressing the connectivity button. For example, SQL Server requires to enable TCP IP communication. MySQL requires enabling remote connections, firewalls or others. Then enter the database user, password and choose the database. Next, connect to the database. Choose which schemes to reverse engineer and the model and the diagrams are created. If you get issues while connecting to the database, please write us using the menu Help Report a Bug.